Good Friday morning, guys. How is everybody doing here on the YTPC? It's the Piano Piper coming at you again. Uh, before I run off to do some errands, I figured I'd do a quick tobacco review. I've got a lot of tobaccos that I need to catch up on reviewing, and the one we're going to do today is GLP's Maltese Falcon. Uh, I've been excited to try this one uh, for a while now. My wife, evidently, was more excited because she's already cracked the tin. Unbeknownst to me, I was a little bit surprised when I took the top off before I pressed play to make this video and saw it open. I was like, what the heck? So I texted my wife, I said, did you open the Maltese Falcon? And she was like, yes. Like, okay, we're good. But uh, she said that she liked it. So hopefully uh, I will as well. So the finest tobaccos are brought together in careful balance to provide a smoking experience like no other. It is my sincere wish that you will derive as much pleasure from the smoking of this mixture as I have from its creation. GLPs. Wow, smells very good. Um, very smoky. Kind of, uh, I don't know, uh, like a leathery kind of, like a leathery kind of smoke, I guess. Um, kind of barbecue-y. Tobacco is beautiful, look at that as I just dropped it on the laptop. <laughs> Very nice. Get that cleaned up. So this tin's been opened for a few days according to my wife. So the moisture level is I would say Goldilocks. It's just right. Uh, I do know right out of the tin from other uh, YouTubers that have reviewed this tobacco that it's a little bit moist and needs some drying time. Uh, but this seems ready to smoke. I'll read the back, the description on the back for you guys real quick. Stylish, dark, and alluring. Generous quantities of Cyprian Latakia are blended with the matured Red Virginias, exotic Orientals, and just a little bright flu-cured leaf to offer a deep, full-bodied, yet silky smoke with an intriguing sweetness, enhanced by a discreet and mysterious spice. Maltese Falcon possesses an exquisite balance. Wonderful all day English style mixture. Sounds very inviting to me. So, on tobacco reviews, I'll read what they say about it. I just read the tin description, and that's the first thing that they talk about is the tin description, so we'll skip that. There's a side note. Originally conceived, as a replacement for the old raven's wing, Maltese Falcon quickly evolved into something bigger. It's a rich, bold blend with excellent body, beguiling sweetness, and solid structure. Ideal for those who enjoy a sophisticated yet comfortable and refined English style mixture. Maltese Falcon was introduced in January of 2008. The brand is GLPs, 
Blended by Gregory Pains. Manufactured by Cornell and Deal. The blend type is English. The contents is Latakia, Oriental, Turkish, and Virginia. The flavoring is none. Cut is ribbon. Packaging is two ounce tin. Country is US. Production is currently available. And you can buy it at BB Tobacco, smokingpipes.com, tobaccopipes.com, and uh, some of your local brick and mortars. And I'm sure there's other sites uh, because I believe I actually got this. from tobacco, uh, four noggins. I think I got this from four noggins. But they're not listed here. Strength is medium. Flavoring is none detected. The taste is medium to full. And the room note is tolerable. It's got a 3.2 out of 4 star rating. So without further ado, guys, I'll pack the pipe and I'll be right back at you. All right, guys, we're all packed up and a little bit of housekeeping. It's Friday. So we've got the smoke. The Friday Savanilli, otherwise known as the Savanilli Roma Lucite 673KS. Um, our dear departed friend matches 860 smoke quite often. So let's light this up. Char light out of the way. Very mild. Hmm. I'm getting a, a sweetness. You know, there's a some kind of a natural sweetness there, probably from the Virginias. I gotta light this one more time. I think I packed it a little too tight. I'm getting uh, mainly what seems to be forward to me at the moment. Is the, um, the Virginias 
which is not what I expected. On the retro hail, I'm getting the Latakia and a little bit of the spice tang from the uh, Orientals. Yes. Now I'm getting the Latakia. I think I just had it packed too tight. It's a very mild uh, English mixture. Absolutely. It's very good. But it's more mild than I expected, is my first impression. Yeah, and they think they even, yeah, Gregory says a wonderful all day English style mixture. I could see where this could be an all day smoke, for sure, because of its mildness. But it's tasty. Yeah, on the retro hail, I get more of the tanginess um, from the Orientals. Um, but still, one of the main players for me in this tobacco seems to be um, the Virginias. Yeah. It's very tasty. And like I said, I could see myself smoking this blend for the whole day. You know, three, four bowls of it. Got a very smooth smoke. The smoke is very smooth in your mouth. It's very cool. But you get that campfire um, smokiness about it. Kind of leathery, too. The room note, um, yeah, I think to somebody that is a non-smoker, it would be tolerable, like Tobacco Review says. Just a kind of a, a smoky, just a smoky smell to it. No tongue bite. I'm, I'm uh, puffing on this 
pretty good. Not getting any tongue bite. A little bit of a tingling going on on my palate. But nothing uncomfortable. That could be from a little bit of the spice of the uh, Orientals. Very, very mild, but very, very tasty, guys. I give it a thumbs up as my first impressions. I'm going to keep on smoking this bowl and see how it uh, does all the way down. It's turning to a nice white ash in there. But uh, as I'm, I'm about, uh, I'm not quite, I'm over a quarter of the way down the bowl now. And the Latakias are starting to come through more. And the Virginias are starting to take more of a back seat. When I first let it. When I first let it. Uh, the Virginias seem to be in control. I was getting a lot of that natural sweetness from the Virginia. But now the now that I'm going down through the bowl, it seems as though they're taking more of a back seat. And the Latakias have taken control. And I'm getting some of that spicy tang from the Orientals. But it's all, across the board, very, very mild. So again, if you like a mild English blend, something that you could smoke all day, this up, guys. Well, guys, as much as I'd love to sit here and smoke a pipe with you all day, <laughs> I've got... A honeydew list to do today. So I'm going to have to leave it there. Uh, happy Friday to everyone. If you got your Friday Savinelli, light her up. Keep them warm today. I might come back at you this evening with another video uh, and another review. Until then, guys, keep them warm. Everybody stay safe with this coronavirus going around, and we'll see you next time. Take care.